The energy crisis and the energy cost drive many people into horrible situations. So all of them are searching for alternatives, how they can heat up their homes for a very low price. And when they search in the World Wide Web, they find very quickly this construction. So this is a candle oven and many people would tell you that this is the perfect alternative because it costs not much and they want to tell you that this construction is very cheap and a very cheap way to heat up your home. But if this is really true and why, is, why are the fireworking men warning about this construction, I want to tell you in this video. So welcome back, my name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. The World Wide Web is full of construction ideas for this candlelight oven. Many of my friends build it for their homes. In the construction markets you find sets ready to use and in the World Wide Web you find them very expensive but they have really low costs. And many experts would tell you that these ovens are great. But I have not the same opinion. So the candlelight oven is built very simple. You can see it as your own. All you see there is um, ready to buy in the construction market and it is uh, really low costs. And the principle of the candlelight oven is that you have the candles here down and the heating is going up and you have a warm storage through this part here because it will heat very up, um, very high up and it saves the warmness. Such a candlelight oven does not really heat a room up. So one of these candlelights has a heating efficiency from 30 to 40 watt. That means you need in a normal room 30, 40 um, candlelights that you can heat up the room temperature to 16 degrees. Of course, I cannot say this exactly because there are so many factors which also playing in. So um, how cold it is outside, um, is there an air blowing through the room, how many candlelights you have and what, what kind of quality they have. So I cannot say you an exactly um, number. I think not many people would use this candlelight oven because they think, oh, that's looking nice, it is this decorative. So in my eyes this is not looking nice and I would not put this in my living room because I think, oh, this is something for the eye. Maybe some others think uh, the other way is okay, but um, I think the most people use this candlelight oven because they really need to find an alternative heating um, and they think this is cheaper than heating the normal way but this is not true. So um, I have here the facts one kilowatt hour energy in the candlelight oven cost between 50 cent and one euro and gas is costing actually 22 cents in an hour. So this here is much more expensive than the normal heating way. You need one candle for each quadrat quadrat meter to feel um, a heating. So that means you need much more candles than it is possible in one room because candles um, consume oxygen and you also need the oxygen to breathe. And if there are too much candles in the room, there is uh, too much CO2 um, to, sorry, uh, so if you have no ventilation, there is not enough oxygen in the room because the candle needs all the oxygen and you would die. And the hard fact is that you would not feel anything. You will just fall asleep and then you are dead because you cannot see it, you cannot smell it, it is just invisible. There is no possibility to see it at first before it happens. So if you would use something like a candle oven, you need an, uh, 
Warner in your room, which warns you when there is not more anymore enough oxygen in the air. I will talk with you later about the danger of fire um, with this candlelight oven because there are much... I want to talk with you later about the danger of on fire from this candlelight oven because there are many very very massive problems which can start with this oven and I don't mean that an animal come here and um, put the oven to the to the ground that something starts to burn. So they are a much massive way. Um, another fact which is against this oven is that the candles are not really good for our nature because they came in aluminium, the cover, and for um, aluminium you need um, Erz. I know only the German name. And for this Erz, they had to cut away um, all the native forests in our world. And the candles as they self, they need paraffin. And paraffin comes from earth oil, which is also not good for the nature. So I know uh, I don't want to yeah, talk you to drink water and I drink wine. So I use them as my own too, but it is fact they are not good for the nature. I want to show you later how dangerous this candlelight oven could be, but once at first, um, when you tip in the German Google candlelight oven fire brigade, you will find many search results where the fire brigade had to come because the candlelight oven is out of control and it start a fire. And a few weeks ago, I saw in the news and text that a German man had a barbecue in his home with a coal because he wanted to heat up his home with this barbecue. Um, and the comment was really rough to most people, right? Oh, the man is so dumb, um, I'm sure he had some drugs or he is under alcohol. Uh, how silly you can be, but this shows how terrible the situation is for the people because they just want to search for a way to heat up their homes and I'm pretty sure nobody would use a barbecue maker in their home just for fun. This is just... they are searching for something and I'm pretty sure that this winter we will read many news that such a construction start on fire with massive damage. I want to make a test with you. So we see this situation. A person, it is winter, comes home in their home and it is pretty cold because they have their heating very low because of the high costs. So the person thinks, ah, I have here the candlelight oven, I want to start it now because I want that the room is heating up. So they told me there are only four candles allowed. I just put more under the oven. I use eight candles because just um, more candles means more heating. So what should happen? And this is a very, very dangerous way. So you have the one problem that someone could burn their hands or an animal. So here at the pot or animal, child or yourself are just rumbling at it and it's fall down and it starts to burn. But um, what would happen the most is that the people have more candles under it than it is allowed. And that means that the fire can bundle and the paraffin will suddenly start to burn, not only, only at the candle. It will make a really high flame because the smoke will also burn um, when you have a massive heat under it. And which is very, very hard is that this is a fat fire and the most people would use water to stop it. But you cannot stop a fat fire with water because if you put water on top, it will sprinkle everywhere around and it will burn much faster. 
So you need a fire stop blanket or a fire extinguisher. And I'm pretty sure that not many people will have those both items at home. So they try water and this is the wrong way and then they can just wait till the fire workers arrived and maybe then it is too late for your home. So we will go now in my horror cellar because this is the only room in my house where is nothing burnable. Um, at first it is a very dangerous experiment because uh, like I told you before the candles consume oxygen and this could um, yeah this could be your death. So I'm not alone with this experiment and I have a warner with me and um, I am only a short time in this room. So I will put much candles as possible here in the oven, start the camera next to the oven and then just see what happens. So let's start. Now we are in my horror cellar and I have the construction here. I pack it complete full. I have now eight candles and the wax is um, very soft now. It is going to liquid and we need this date because now the candles are at the hottest point. If it would really burn or not, I don't know. So this is an experiment. I don't know how it ends. but. The chance that it burns is high. I don't know if the smoke comes for the fire, before the fire, but the smoke can also burn. I noticed that my candles don't burn so well, as you can see the left side is burning stronger than the right side. Maybe there is some air blow or there is not any more enough oxygen in the room that they burn well. The smoke gets bigger and a deeper black but nothing else happens. What happens here is that the flames are bundled. Not all of the candles, but a few. Uh, maybe you see this when you have a burning candle and you put a um, gas light on top. The uh, flame is double so big. And this is what is so dangerous here because out of this there can come a very big flame. So the alarm is going on. I have not enough uh, oxygen here in the cellar so I open the window. Now it is better but this is what you should do if you use this candlelight oven. You should open the window that you have uh, enough fresh air but with this fresh air through the window the warm is always so you uh, go outside so <laughs> it is like you never had the oven on and with the open window I have now the dancing flames which means that they are burning stronger and the wax will also burn away very faster so this doesn't make sense. You see how black the pot is now at the under area. So we had no flame on top, but it is still black. The three candles have their flames bundled together. Now this is one massive flame.
So this is what I want to show you that the flames are bundled together, that this is one massive big flame. Um, but of course this is nothing what could really happen. So normally this flame would go one meter or higher and this is very dangerous. So at this point I stopped because you see what I want to show you, this effect and I don't want to have a massive flame here inside. So. There is no need to wait longer, we stop at this point. Es geht gar nicht aus. It won't go out. It is impossible to blow it out because it is so hot that it can burn as itself without extra fire or light are needed. And on, at this point when it is so hot you are not able to blow it out. So I cannot stop the fire with blowing. I don't know if you can see the fog from the fire, so I want to go outside very quickly. The candles are out and I am now <laughs> in my house again. The cellar is closed. I stopped the experiment because you can see how it works and this is what I want. Uh, of course I could end the experiment with the massive fire, but if it is not really needed, of course I wouldn't do it. So you see the process, you, you see how it works and how it happens and this is what I want. So I think we can finish yet. So you see, I've bought the stuff at a construction market and that construction market was not the cheapest one. So there are higher prices than in the cheap construction markets. And I don't spend, spend much money for this equipment. But when you search in the World Wide Web for the equipment in a set, you think, what the fuck is going on there? Because the people want so much money for this and it has so low costs and you just think why why you do this it is like every time like in crisis preparedness shops when the people have fear when they want to prepare the people want so much money for yeah, their stuff and it isn't worth it so i cannot understand it this effect is i saw it often and when you see uh there's an amazon price for the set not ready built, so you have it to build at your own. And I won't not lie, but I think that it's about 56 euros. So I, I check it out later and I show you the picture. And there is a shop called Etsy where handmade stuff is selling. And there are prices which are complete abnormal. So I'm out for today. Now you can see why I want to tell you that you don't need a candle oven and why you have it not in your living room. So it is very dangerous and I cannot understand why you find so little negative uh, about this candle oven in the World Wide Web because it is very dangerous. So I hope you like the video I have finished yet and if you like it feel free to thumbs up and subscribe, click the alarm bell on to don't miss any video. And if you want, leave a comment. So we see us in the next video. Bye bye, have a great time.